Hello, my name is Sister Rosanna Mellard. I'm a sister of Notre Dame from Chardon, Ohio. I've been a missionary in the Dominican Republic and in Nicaragua. Right now, our world is in hard times with the virus and our country is broken from racism, but we still need to move forward, reaching out to those in need. Many years ago, we sisters of Notre Dame saw the need to serve and to share God's love in other countries. We are now serving in 16 countries and five continents. Some of the places are in India, Africa, the Philippines, Vietnam, South Korea, and China. The Sisters from Chardon began the mission in India in 1949 and in Africa in 1992. In India, we began with six sisters and now there are over 300 Indian sisters in our community. The sisters began with a school under a tree because that's all there was. They began to realize the need for, that orphans had and so they started uh, homes for orphans and places for um, people to, to uh, take uh, time. Uh, the sisters in, now are in more than 500 locations. Excuse me, the sisters are in more than 50 locations. They are forming teachers in all levels of education. In India in those days, girls were not um, uh, encouraged to go to school but we work with them and right now things are a bit different and two, over 2,000 girls have graduated from our schools. We also have sister doctors, nurses, and lawyers. We are encouraging women to open co-ops so they can work together to better their families by getting a little extra money. We also are in advocacy for rights of the poor. One doctor, Sister Ajaya, came to the United States with the help of donors. She, um, I got, I was uh, uh, encouraged to visit her in a clinic in India where she worked. One day a train came from the mountains. Over 200 people came for health care. They were so busy, I had had a little experience when I was in the Dominican Republic, so I offered to help give injections. Well, I learned the DART method and they didn't like that. So I gave one injection and then they said, I think it would be better if you went to the pharmacy and count the pills. Oh well, I tried. Then besides that, Sister Suda is another very interesting person who lived for 20 years in a mud hut with the lowest caste of people called the Masahar. They're called rat eaters because sometimes they're so poor, they don't have anything to eat. Then in 1997, we went to Africa uh, and the mission of the United States from us and from India together. We are now in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and other tribal areas. Sister Annette, one of my classmates from the US, trains the young women that want to become sisters of Notre Dame. Now there are more than 54 African sisters. Sister Rashmi, was living with the Maasai people, a tribal people. There was no school, no clean water, very, very poor. One time she came to the United States to ask for help and she went to a school and the children got so excited they wanted to help. So they got together and with the help of some other schools, they collected enough money to, to buy a playground for the children in, in the, the Maasai area. And the children are still so grateful because they're still playing on that playground. We also are helping with women's self-help groups and we are empowering women and children in order to alleviate poverty, illiteracy, and disease. Now, what can you do to help us? There are so many things. The first support would be to pray. If you pray for the missions, you know they pray for you can also share. You can share by a donation or by serving people even here. That's a way to share. Now in India, if, if you give $10, you can give rice for a family for one month. In the Philippines, $150 will be tuition for a child for one year. In Africa, 
$350 would be tuition and all the living expenses for an orphan, like their food, their clothes, and their books. Now, you'll have to talk to your pastor to find out exactly how he wants to handle the donations, but we certainly would appreciate anything that you can do to help those people that have so little. And you know, our Holy Father said once, let the poor break your heart. And so please do what you can to help us. God bless you. We appreciate all of you.